Hello everyone. So welcome back to another tutorial and today we are going to learn how to access cPanel and install WordPress on your GoDaddy cPanel shared hosting. So let's start. First what you have to do is log into GoDaddy website and go on top right here and from here go to my products. Okay. So you will arrive at this page because GoDaddy sometimes change the interface. So um, you just follow this link and you will uh, see this page okay from here scroll down you can see i have multiple products in my account two domains multiple hosting types so the hosting types to, we want to access is the cpanel so you can see here web hosting cpanel so then click on manage here and here you will see all the details of the server if there is a website which domain is connected to that server you will see all its details and on the right side bar here, you will see the primary domain, cPanel login information, username, password. So what you can do is either manually log into the cPanel or just click on this button, cPanel admin here, and it will directly auto log you into the cPanel account. So just click it. So as you can see, we have been directed to the cPanel and we are already logged in. So what you have to do is now to install WordPress, just scroll down and go to the software section here and you can, you will have to use, click on this install Tron applications installer. So this is GoDaddy's uh, basically auto installer. And um, right now you can see I have a WordPress website installed with this install application. So what you have to do is if you do not have either you will see an option to install. Or what you can do is go here application browser and from here search for WordPress just type WordPress and then press enter and it will search WordPress now what you have to do is simply click on install okay now you will have to fill this details so you can see the domain name uh, the thing I don't like is uh, I don't want to have this www dot instead I want to have a clean URL so I will just click here in the drop down and select the correct URL I want so right now I am not picking the HTTPS as you can see it is also available because uh, I don't have a certificate and we can change this later okay so next is this directory it is optional so it is basically like you want to create a website your website.com slash blog or you just want to have your website.com so um, you can have the best of both worlds what you have to do is you can install it in a directory and then follow my other tutorial this tutorial how to move wordpress from subdirectory to root so what it will do is um, you will install the wordpress in your directory so the files will be much better organized but your website will be accessible without the directory name in the url so it is a bit advanced step so only if you know what how to do it um, you can watch that video before so if you think you are comfortable with doing following those steps then you can do it else you can simply just delete it here and this is how your website will be okay just keep this things at default um, and here in the settings um, you can change the administrate wordpress administrator username you can also change it later so i will just keep at default right now just save all these things in a notepad and in the password you just click on show password here and again just copy it from here and save it in your notepad or somewhere important okay and then click on hide password then change your administrator email here put your email here your gmail id or whichever is accessible so the installation details will be sent there and you can change this stuff later website title tagline okay so you can uh it is up to you if you want to install this limit login attempts plugin so you can uh, if you don't do not want to install this plugin you can select this no and uh, do not enable multi-site just keep this things at default and then simply click on install after you click on install it will take few seconds for the installation process and after that you will see the screen the installed application and now you can simply access your website from here and your wordpress admin area from here so the good thing is if you click go to your website admin area from here it will directly log you in without asking for the username password 
but if you want to manually uh, log in so what you have to do is simply go to this url the website.com slash wp admin or slash login you will see this page and now enter the username and password we created in the previous step so that's how simple it is to create and install wordpress website on godaddy shared hosting so i hope you guys found this video useful you can see this is my website i created this before and if you want to learn how to do this you can watch my other tutorial the whole e-commerce website series and um, blog design series so you will learn a lot about wordpress and basic settings about wordpress so i'll put those videos link in the description and they should be on the video top as well so please let me know in the comments how you like the video give your feedback so i can improve my video further and if you found this useful give this video a like so that's it guys for this video and i will see you in the next video